Dit is Papa Alfa 0, ik wil Tingo Ico voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag. Dit is de bulletin van zaterdag. As always in weekends, our bulletin will be in English. We have the propagation news of the RGB and some other additional news. And next to that we have some Morse code, words and an SSTV image in PD90. This is GB2RS, the news broadcasting service of the Radio Society of Great Britain. It comes to you as usual from G4NJH in Nottingham. You can find the text of the bulletin on the RSGB's own website. Propagation report now compiled from by G0KYA, G3YLA, G3NYK and G4BAO. This week's NOAA and us got the HF propagation prediction wrong, they say. The figures suggested that last weekend would be unsettled geomagnetically, but in fact conditions were actually much better. The K index did eventually rise, but not until late Tuesday evening. The prediction for this weekend, as you read here, uh, read or hear this report, remains uncertain, as the Earth succumbs again to the last of the weaker than expected plasma stream, f- streams from a large recurrent coronal hole on the Sun. NOAA has this weekend's solar flux index predicted at around 80 and the K index at 3 or 4, but geomagnetic conditions may improve slightly as we move into next week. It's hard to say exactly how conditions will be for this weekend's CW leg of the CQ Worldwide contest. If we continue to be hit with solar plasma, maximum usable frequencies may be impacted adversely. However, as contestors tend to use larger than average antennas and power levels, you should find the bands open to DX at least up to 21 megs. Short occasional openings on 10 metres may be possible, especially in the southern hemisphere, southern Europe and equatorial Africa. We certainly won't see the kind of conditions we have enjoyed during the last two or three CQ Worldwide contests. Now VHF and up propagation, we have high pressure and attendance and condition on the VHF and UHF bands are picking up well. This high should provide temperature inversions both near the surface and aloft due to descending air within the high pressure area. These temperature inversions are important in that they form discontinuities of the refractive index over short height spans and become the regions that conduct your VHF UHF signals over long distances. Tropo conditions provide DX paths around the edges of large highs, so look for flat layers of low cloud or mist and fog, both visual signs of temperature inversions. Favoured paths are likely to be within the UK and across the North Sea into Northern Europe. Things will probably change around midweek as low pressure moves down from Iceland. It is possible the high may reassert itself later in the week, but this is a bit of a long shot. The moon is at apogee today, so path losses are at their highest. Moon declination is still negative, so with the sun close to the moon on Tuesday, it's a poor week for EME. We had to, uh, we had a Leonid fireball meteor last week. While spectacular, a single rock doesn't help meteor scatter conditions, so just hang in there for the major Geminid shower in a few weeks' time. That's it for this week from the propagation team. Every December, the IARU organises Youngsters on the Air Month, which is a month-long activity specifically aimed at getting young people operating amateur radio. It isn't a contest, but there's an award to chase. The UK station GB16YOTA will put, be put on the air by Sandringham School ARC on the 1st of December, Sidmouth ARS on the 2nd, and by Durham and District ARS on the 3rd. Worcester RAA will operate the call sign on the 4th. If young amateurs cannot get, to these sta- get, cannot get to these stations to take part, they can still join in by working as many Yota stations as they can during December. Last year, about 30 countries took part, and there's an IARU award for working the Yota special event stations. Further details at wwwham yotacom forward slash December hyphen Yota hyphen month. Chertsey Radio Club will be hosting a virtual build-a-thon starting in December. Bob M6FLT will be building a kit over a couple of weeks live on camera and will be able to answer questions as participants follow him. The kit will be a Kanga Products Fox 3 40m CW transceiver and K16 Kia kit. Participants buy the kit, but there's no t- cost to join in with the session. You'll need access to a laptop or tablet device and internet connection. Places and kits are limited for this first session, so email Chertsey Radio Club, all one word, at hotmail.com for more details. 
The ARR LDXCC desk has approved the October 2016 T31 TD expedition to central Kiribati, Canton Island for DXCC credit. If you're interested in 472 kHz CW, uh, make sure you're around for the weekend of the 3rd and 4th of December when there's a QSO party starting about sunset, that is 1700 UTC. The storm is threatening Nicaragua and Costa Rica uh, through the remainder of this week. The Nicaraguan government has raised the alert level for parts of the country to prepare for the storm and the Radio Experimenters Club of Nicaragua has activated their emergence, national emergency network. The main frequencies are 7.098 MHz, 3.798, but also include 7.105 and 3.805 MHz. The Radio Club of Costa Rica has also activated their network on 7080 kHz. All radio amateurs should listen carefully before transmitting and avoid causing QRM to emergency traffic on those frequencies. The Summits on the Air Summit to Summit event between Europe and North America on Saturday the 19th of November was a great success. Several activators had their first ever intercontinental Summit to Summit contact. 77, 77 summits were activated and the consensus seems to be that from a propagation point of view the 17 metre band was the best. The UK 6 metre group's winter marathon starts on the 1st of December and ends on the 31st of January 2017. No specific operating periods. All modes are allowed on the 50 MHz band and the exchange should be your signal reports and locator. For all the details, check out www.uksmg.org. Deze middels zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren via PI2 NOS. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf s ochtends herhaald. Dit is Papa Alpha 0 Echo Tango Echo. En denk eraan, als je gaat solderen, dat je steeds alleen de kant van de soldeerbout vastpakt waar het draadje uitkomt.